MO is on the color mixing, sorry, on the color grading menu, which is just below color mixer. And this tool does a lot of things. It's a little confusing to look at at first, so I'm going to break it down for you. Um, it gives you color wheels for your midtones, your shadows, and your highlights. And um, there's this uh, triad view where you can see all three at once. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go and work in the individual wheels because the wheel is a little bit bigger and I think it's easier to do them one at a time anyway. So um, essentially what this tool does is it allows you to uh, place a color in each one of these three zones. So we're going to start with the highlights and I chose this picture because uh, it has um, this very uh, sort of neutral um, amount of highlights on the swan. And so what I'm going to do is just um, choose a slight yellow, just a little bit. I'm going to just introduce a little bit of yellow. And then I want to bring the luminance of my highlights up a bit because they are very, uh, because I want them brighter. All right, so there's highlights. All right, now I'm going to go over to midtones. So midtones are obviously uh, the, the, you know, the, the, uh, in the middle of the, you know, the middle of the histogram. Okay, not the whites and not the darkest shadows. Um, there's a lot of, there was a lot of algae on this pond when I took this photo. And so um, the cool thing about this tool is that I can, totally change um, or I can not totally change but I can really influence uh, those those green midtones and make them much more blue um, and there's a neat effect in this tool where there's a little eye icon and if you click and hold that it shows you the before and then the after so you don't have to do a lot of toggling in different tools and menus you just click and hold and it shows you what you did, and then you release it, and it goes to uh, um, to your back to your changes. Um, and then last is the shadows, and I'm going to do the same thing with the shadows as I did with the midtones because I'm trying to reduce that uh, overall greenish effect. Okay, so I adjusted my three different wheels, and now we're going to play with the sliders down below. So. Each wheel has um, its own set of individual sliders, and then uh, which are, if you click this little arrow, you'll see a hue slider, a saturation slider, and a luminance slider. Now, those are tied to the individual zones. Then below that, there's a blending and balance set of sliders, and those apply to all three. So first we'll play with the hue and saturation. The hue slider is simply a spectrum of what you see on the color wheel. So you can see as you slide this, it's going to actually go around the color wheel at that saturation, right? So um, this allows you to fine tune exactly where you chose originally on your color wheel. And then saturation is the amount of the, that color. So you can see that as I move the saturation bar, it's getting this little dot is moving closer to the outside of the color wheel, meaning that there is increasingly more and more of that color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the zones. And I'm going to fine tune each zone first. And I'm actually pretty happy with where these things are here. I'm just showing you guys how the uh, how these sliders work. Um, I actually, uh, oh, I am going to make this. I'm going to bring the luminance down in the highlights a little bit. Uh, and uh, as far as hue and saturation goes, I can bring, maybe bring the saturation down a little bit. Okay. So I've adjusted all three of my zones. And now I'm going to go back to this triad view to show you how the blending and the balance sliders work. So um, it's not always obvious what the effect is for each of these sliders. But essentially, the blending slider, um, if you bring it to the left, it um, exaggerates the, the effect of the, of the overlap of those color changes. And it's not a huge change in this photo that I've used, but other photos you might see more drastic change. If you bring it to the right, it uh, reduces the, um, the, the blending. So. It's like a, a more of a smooth transition. So to the left is 
it increases the transition, meaning that basically it creates more of a contrast between the effects and to the right, it smooths the transition and makes a more sort of even effect. And again, in this photo, you don't really see it too much, I think because I'm not making a ton of changes, like drastic color changes. So this may not be the best demo to use for this blending bar, but I think I am gonna move it up a little bit just to kind of smooth that transition. The balance slider basically increases the effect in the shadows if you bring it to the left. And if it's in the middle, it keeps pretty much a balance. And then if you bring it to the right, it increases the effect in the highlights. So this, in this photo, you can really see the effect working because my changes to the shadows and to the midtones were mostly the same, those blues. So bringing it to the left doesn't show too much of a change. But if I bring it to the right, you can see that I'm starting to lose that blue effect, meaning that it's moving closer to what the effect is in the highlight wheel, which makes sense because I added a yellow to the, um, to the highlight wheel and blues to the midtones and shadows. So you probably guessed which way I'm going to go here, which is I'm going to go to the left because I want to go away from that yellowish green of the, um, of the, uh, the pond, of the algae. And if I bring it to the right, it only increases that. So that is, uh, oh, and there's one last thing, which is a global uh, wheel, which is where you can um, affect the entire, we, uh, the entire uh, image in all three zones together, um, which I, I wouldn't use this personally. I, I feel like the whole point of the tool is to split up the zones, but um, maybe if you want I could see if you wanted to increase the luminance overall of the entire photo um, or the saturation of everything, you could maybe play with this wheel a little bit. Um, but um, but I, I feel like this one's a little bit less helpful. Uh, remember, as always, you can split... Uh, sp well, you can't do split view anymore, which is a disappointment to me with Lightroom. Uh, but you can look at your original versus your edited, and you can always save a version. There's another ver thing you can do is you can create a version um, after grading, and that way uh, you can toggle between those versions, which is Lightroom's version of history, and you can reset your edits in this menu here by going to Reset Edits, and that'll bring you back to your original version.